Uh, we continue with the irregular verbs, and this time we want to talk about a group of verbs that behave in a way that is necessary for us to know their peculiarities. They also have their peculiarities, and those are the verbs that they, there is a kind of addition while they are conjugated. So, just uh, when a stem, remember we have mentioned that over and over, stem and then ending. When a stem of a verb ends with M, so I give an example here. This is a verb. This is the verb, atmen, and it means to breathe. So, when the stem of that verb ends with M or N, so we we'll go back to the verb. This is the ending, and this is the stem. So the, the stem is ending with M. And then another verb, ordnen. This is the ending, and this is the stem. So the stem here is ending with M, and the stem here is ending with N. So I go back to the text. When is stem of the verb? N with M or N additional E must be added to E's for ease of pronunciation. Just to make the pronunciation possible and easy and sweet in the mouth, additional E must be added. Look at the conjugation here. So we go back to Atman, which means to breathe, and we have ish. Atman. Do at least there's another e added here, and then a e, at a e, at met we have another e added. Z at met s at met and then via at men that's all right, and then here at met additional e, and we have the at men the at men. So, I go back to the text. When a stem of a verb ends with M, like in Atman, or in N, like in Ordman, additional E must be added. And what is the function of that E there? That E is functioning there just to make the pronunciation easy. So, we're going to read this together and you repeat after me. Ish at me, do at me, e at me, z at me, s at me, via at me, e at me, z at me, z at me. Okay? So, with that, with the knowledge here, with the knowledge of M and N, we are able to conjugate correctly the verb atman. And not only that, we have other verbs that behave like that. And I want to encourage you by telling you that once you know the peculiarity of a verb and other verbs that are conjugated like them, you'll find there are so many verbs in German, but then, generally speaking, they are either regular or irregular. And once you know how to conjugate the regular, the regular have a greater number. Once you know how to conjugate the regular and the pattern of the conjugation of the, of the regular, to conjugate the regular will not be a problem as you follow this format and follow this instruction. So, Atman is conjugated like this with the additional uh, E here, second person singular. Third person singular, and then second person plural. The other verbs that are conjugated like that are begegnen, look at it, the N is here, ordnen, the N is here, feichnen, the N is here, rechnen, the N is here. I want to tell you another thing. You see here, there is an N, there is a consonant, an N and consonant. And N, so where we have H, more or less, like a consonant, and the same thing here. And 
Even in at men, you still see a consonant before the M or the N. And those are the conditions that qualifies them to be able, I mean, to, to have additional E. So, this is another interesting verb that we need to learn. And remember what you do usually after you are conjugated, I mean, you form a sentence or sentences with the verb. This is an interesting uh, uh, verb, at men. Especially when you think of what is happening in the world presently, uh, this verb is very important to breathe. Yeah? So, ish, at men, that means I breathe. You, at men, that means you breathe. And remember what I said in the last video. Ish, at men means I breathe, and it means I am breathing. So, it signifies in the present tense, in all the verbs, each at me, the present tense is saying what you do habitually, and it's also saying what you are doing in the present continuous tense. So, each at me, I breathe. You at me, you breathe. A at me, is breathing. Z at me, she is breathing. S at me, it is breathing. And then, via at me, we are breathing. Here, at me, you plural, you are breathing. And then, Z, Z, at me. This one, remember, the first Z is saying, they are breathing or they breathe. And then, the second one is the, I mean, the formal form, the respect form, she is breathing or she breathes. So, I want us to note this uh, little thing and then, anytime you think of these rules, don't let it frighten you. Just remember, these rules are peculiar to some few verbs. The greater number of the verbs, the greater percentage of the verbs, they follow a regular pattern. And these irregular ones, you just need to look at them, master these little rules, and before you know it, conjugate every one of them without missing anything. Okay.